What better way to enhance your features and your face by defining your brows? When your brows are done and defined and filled in, you seriously look like a million bucks. This brow addiction palette is one of my ultimate favorite items. I use it every single day. If you are not taking care of your brows, my goodness, you are missing out. Find someone in your area, a brow technician, an esthetician that you trust or that someone recommends and get those brows groomed. And then ladies, if your, your brow hairs are sparse or as we get older, we tend to have less brow hairs my goodness, this brow addiction palette is a must. Super simple to learn and use. It takes literally two to three minutes and the difference is amazing. Even if you're not a makeup wearer, this uh, makes you look like a million bucks. This paired with lashes, so our kick-ass mascara, Epic or 3D, or both will certainly make you look like so much more put together. To create a more natural brow shape or a look, I've drawn a, a harsh line on the lower brow line on top I didn't start at the edge uh, closer to my eyes. I started about halfway and I didn't put any product in the center of my brows. What I did is after I was done doing the bottom and upper line, I took a spoolie, which is like a little brush, a wired brush, and I kind of feathered out the color that was in um, both lines so it kind of smooths out smooths out and um, makes it less harsh if you have uh, rebel hairs that are all over the place this brow palette contains a tinted wax which you can apply to tame those rebel hairs If you've never defined your brows the first time you uh, actually do it, you might get scared when you look in the mirror because you've never seen yourself with brows. Um, don't be alarmed, keep doing it and you'll see that um, you will love it. Have you ever heard of tight lining? This is especially amazing for us more mature ladies. So basically your Using a coal pencil liner, um, the, our pencils are amazing. You kind of go inside your waterline on your upper lash line and lower lash line, and you're just lining that area. You're going on top, you're going to try and uh, go into the root of the lashes, and this is going to make your lashes appear fuller and thicker. I love this trick. Mascara. I've curled my lashes already and I am loving our new Epic Mascara Black in Waterproof. This baby does not budge. I love it on its own but I am getting ready for a family night out so I want big lashes. I'm going to use our 3D Plus fibers just on the tip of my lashes, starting about halfway to the tip. Going to do this on both eyes, so one coat of Waterproof Epic 
while it's still wet I'm putting on the fibers and I'm sealing everything with the 3D transplanting gel to finish it off. So if you look closely, it looks as though I have eyeliner on, a like legit traditional eyeliner, but I don't. I only have done the tight lining technique and um, I find that for the 40-ish plus, it's uh, more subtle, more natural. And uh, I really, really love what it does for my eyes. I did use um, some pressed shadows on my eyes to create this look. Um, more in earth tones. I have some apricot colors and peaches even some blues in there under um, on my lower lash line. I'm gently coating the lower lashes with just a very thin coat of our waterproof Epic. I want the focus to be on my top lashes. So there you have it. OG lashes with minimal effort. Brows and lashes, ladies. You can't go wrong.